kind of cool, kind of annoying. I don't know. There's so many at this point. I don't know if it's fun or just frustrating. <laughs> Thursday night, Thursday, I don't know what day it is. <laughs> uh, it's Thursday though, and I am about to cook dinner. Putting some water on the stove to boil right now. That's a piece of macaroni from my lunch earlier. Ignore that. I am, um, our friend just got here to, oh, earlier today he got here, and he's gonna be helping us do the roof and, you know, all the, drywall and whatnot. He's staying with us for a couple weeks, thankfully. Probably couldn't do this without him, so <laughs> thank you, Hunter. They just went out to go grab a beer, and I think Hunter's gonna get pizza. But I am making vodka penne. We're having salads, which this is like the first time Taylor's ever agreed to eat a salad, so fingers crossed that he actually likes it because I miss having salads all the time and I would like to grow greens, but I can't eat them all myself. So I need to get him to like the salads so he'll start eating them with me. We are also having some garlic bread and I made this French bread earlier at one time. It's like homemade deliciousness. It's like super fluffy. I've never made that before. So it turned out well and I'm really excited about it. We have a four day weekend because Taylor and I both took off Friday and Monday so we can start working on house things with Hunter um, and like start getting into it because we gotta start ripping off the roof. Well, Taylor took those days off to do that. I am going to be feeding them and then I will be taking at least one of the days, like the whole days to work on business stuff. I really wanna get Calico Cow Acres and the Calico and the Cow website to a point where it's making us money somehow because we'd really really like to start the transition of like being self-employed and like making income outside of our jobs so we can eventually transition to be like fully on the farm doing our own thing and enjoying our lives because our jobs are slowly draining the life out of us and I've only been working at my job for a little over a year so I just <laughs> I can't stare at a computer all day long the rest of my life and I would like to start having some alternatives um, and then also like I think it'd be really cool to have some extra income so that I can start paying down my student loans because my student loans take half of my income every single month so it's a lot but it is what it is and I'm trying to stay positive about it and come up with ideas and brainstorm a lot. I have a whole list of ideas of things that I would like to do and we're gonna just try things out and see what happens. So I just wanted to give you guys that little snippet. I'm gonna get to making dinner and I will probably see you tomorrow. It is rainy today. Oh man, I am so sore for like no reason and I think I just slept weird but my back is killing me like behind my shoulder blade. I can like not turn my head left and oh man, not fun. So I'm kind of out of commission because the stuff I was gonna do outside today is no longer since it's, we're getting a Hurricane Nicole leftovers, Hurricane dessert, I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I can't really do what I was planning on doing today. So I am going to work on some renderings of our house. I'm going to work on editing a video and I 
oh i was gonna tell you uh the guys are inside our friend hunter is here like i said the other night the guys are inside they are pulling down all of our ceilings in the main areas today so i i mean i don't know if they're actually pulling them down i think they're actually in the attic like stomping on them to get them to come down <laughs> so i will show you bits and pieces of that but i don't want to be in their way i can't really contribute because i literally can't move my neck today um and also i just feel like i'd be in the way anyway they kind of have a flow that they worked through so i'm sure there's gonna be insulation everywhere gonna be drywall falling off the ceiling <laughs> um and they're gonna be like pulling out nails and stuff so i'll hop in there when i can and try and take some quick videos and show you guys but i don't want I don't want to set a camera up in there and have it get knocked over or anything. They're not thinking about the camera like I do when I'm doing stuff, so they'll probably just knock it over. <laughs> Since I can't do what I was going to do today, I will do it tomorrow. It's supposed to be really nice and warm. I think it's supposed to be almost 70 tomorrow and sunny, hopefully, fingers crossed. We've had a lot of rain because of this hurricane and it's supposed to rain a lot in the next week. Um, so hopefully we can get our roof done. <laughs> while Hunter's here because he's the one who knows how to do it. So I was going to harvest rose bleh, bleh. I was gonna harvest rose hips today and go tag trees with our like marking tape because we wanna identify if we have any maples to try and tap them for syrup. I don't know if we can do that down here but I successfully did it last year with our one silver maple in our front yard. So I'm gonna mark some trees. There's some that we need to mark to be taken down. They're just like the calorie or Bradford pear trees that are just like, swear they're like invasive on our property. They're everywhere. It's so frustrating. I wanna mark some to make sure they don't come down in like the orchard and whatnot because they're nut trees. And I need to do it as soon as possible because everything's losing its leaves like right now. I wanna take this little guy with me, I think, because He's really sweet and he likes to go on walks. Gotta get one last look before there's not a ceiling in here. <laughs> Let your feet dry, dude. Do you know how to sit? Hi. I love you. Are you my friend? <laughs> hey there. It is Saturday now and I am out on our trails and I have a little friend with me. I don't know if you can see him in there. But uh, I'm gonna let him out on his leash in a few minutes and let him wander around just this area where I'm at while I pick some rose hips. I brought a jar with me. See if I can pick enough to get it like halfway full. But 
I am, I think I said yesterday, I'm gonna make some like infused oils with the rose hips and we have like a lot of them. They're all over the place. So this guy wants out. I'm gonna let him out. I just carried him out here in this because I had to carry the tripod and the camera and the jar and yeah. So it was easier to carry him and then I'll just let him wander while I, while I pick things. But whew, it's kind of warm out here. Definitely need to change out of the sweater when I get back inside. <laughs> Let's release this little creature. Ugh. You ready to get out? You ready to get out? You want me to do some walking? Mister, you want to do a walk? Come here. Let me clip ya. Let me clip ya. Come on. Get out. Come here. Here you go. There you go. You do some wandering. He's doing his thing and we're gonna pick some rose hips now. gonna leave you. We never leave you. Okay, I end up having to put a different shirt on because I was sweating because it's like significantly warmer out here than I thought it was going to be, but I collected a ent an entire jar, well almost an entire jar of rose hips and I tried to do it off of like all of the different plants I could find and I just found one more so I might top this off and I think I might collect some pine needles as well. I definitely want some of the pine needles so I can infuse some more oil with that. Um, I'm going to be making like face oil out of this and I think I would like to make like a setting or a like a face mist sort of thing, like a toner with pine needles. So I'm gonna collect a handful of those, do some in oil and some in just water to infuse it. Then I might actually do some in vinegar too for cleaner. I've never done any of this stuff before, so it's all brand new to me. Never had access to roses like this, which is really cool. They're actually invasive, the ones that we have, but they're here, so I'm gonna use them. If you can hear a noise in the background, it's the guys working on the roof. I just wanna say, I have, no, like I said, I've never done any of this stuff before. This is all brand new to me. This is not like a how-to channel whatsoever, and I don't really want it to be, because I'm still learning. I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing, but I'm hoping that it's more of like an inspiration that like, you know, if you've never done this kind of stuff before, but you're interested in herbalism or, you know, cleaner products 
or just getting out in nature and like learning how to forage some things that you're inspired to do that through this and like makes it less intimidating because like I said I'm a newbie I might mess this up but I'm gonna try it because they're here it's fun to forage them it gets me outside breathing fresh air so go try it <laughs> after I grab more of these guys and then some pine needles I am going to bring them inside for a little bit, set them down, and then I'm gonna grab the tree markers and start tagging trees. marking trees in the woods right now and I'm following the back property line oh, there's mosquitoes everywhere and I just found an actual stream back here we haven't been back here all the way yet but there's a bunch of trash under here like this is old fences there's a bunch of cinder blocks and stuff I think they were like trying to fill it in to maybe like dam it up sort of but this is pretty cool I'm standing on like a really big log but it goes way down and it, it leads to a river I know that but this is cool. Kind of sketchy to walk on, but cool. Look at all that clay. It's so neat. Yeah, it's actually a stream though. Gonna have to come mess around with this sometime. It's like seeping out of the ground so over there. So it's coming down here, there's a hole right here, and then it's like trickling down underneath the ground to go down where I just showed you down there, where it's like seeping out of the ground. It's so cool, you can hear it. All right, I made it to a spot that I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to make it to until winter, and First of all, it's really cool. It drops straight down. Second of all, there's a lot of trash. Surprise, surprise. So, I'm gonna show you real quick. Okay. Our property line is like right along this ravine right here. So our property's over here. That was all the kudzu. <laughs> it's all died now. Well, for the winter. And look at this. This is like straight down. You see all that trash? Those are barrels. A little stream. More barrels. Yeah. This leads down to the river or the creek. I don't know if you can see over here, but it looks like the neighbors dump a bunch of trash down here as well. It's so awful. Seriously, don't dump trash. Like, take care of it. This is awful, and especially because like, our property probably has so much on it, we think, because it all used to be one farm area here, and it's like our property is the lowest point, so we think they just dumped everything down here, which is unfortunate because we get to clean it all up. But it's also unfortunate because the, it's the waterway like it leads to the bigger water system so who knows what was in all those barrels but they're leaching just like down to the river which is not cool don't do that I also think I found yet another 
abandoned structure down here, which is kind of cool, kind of annoying. I don't know. There's so many at this point. I don't know if it's fun or just frustrating. <laughs> there's just so many. I'm gonna try and get to it, but it looks like there's a fence around it, so we'll see. Guys, I I am exhausted. I don't know what's like up with me today. I don't know if I'm like getting sick. I just am not feeling great. I just like found our whole property line and like was wandering through the woods and I'm like super sweaty because it's warm today and I'm wearing pants because I was walking through the woods, you know, tagging trees. Um, I think I need to go eat something and rest for a little bit. But um, basically for the trees, I was just using this uh, marking tape and tying it on the trees and if I knew what it was or if it needs to come down like the calorie pears do, I just wrote P or pear or you know like X on it or something and if it's a tree that I couldn't I didn't know which is most of the ones that I tied uh, like tagged as pink I don't know I'm not good at identifying trees yet I'm still learning so I'm taking pictures of their bark since most of the leaves are off of them or they're like really tall trees and I can't like see the leaves and I'm gonna go inside and identify them while I'm sitting down and resting because I don't have good enough service out in the woods <laughs> to identify them out there and like write what they are on the tag. So I just numbered them. Uh, hopefully that works. I numbered them and I took pictures of the bark with the number on the tag. Hopefully I can figure it out. We'll see. I don't know if that's gonna work. Um, really, I'm just curious. And like back in the woods, we have like way bigger woods than I thought originally. I'm just curious if we have any maples, basically. That's what I wanna know. Or birch trees, I guess, too, for syrup. Because we'd really like to try and tap trees for syrup down here. And I think we're at the like edge of where we'd be able to do it. So we'll see if we can, but it's worth a shot. We have the stuff to do it, so figured why not. Uh, but that will be like a later, that'll be like a later in the winter thing, I think. I gotta look at the temperatures and see if you can even do that in North Carolina. And if you try to, when you should try to. <laughs> I just finished editing this weekend's YouTube video and oh my gosh you guys my back is killing me so bad. I've been like stretching and like trying to massage it and I use the back massager and it's just nothing's helping and it's like right behind my shoulder blade. So I like took ibuprofen I've done everything I can at this point besides take a bath. So I might see if we can go to the store so I can get Epsom salt and do that later. Now my problem is that I want to take a nap. <laughs> and I tried earlier, but I couldn't get comfy enough to do that. But it's supposed to get down to like 30 or the 20s tonight. So I need to go outside and cover up. The garlic because it's all sprouted sprouted i need to go rake leaves i need to go take that pile and put it on top of the the two garlic beds so i need to get my butt up and do that <laughs> i just really want to take a nap i'm like super bummed that i don't feel good because i took friday off and monday off so that we could have like a super productive weekend and then yesterday it poured all day long and I couldn't do anything. And today I like kind of have gotten some stuff done, but I just feel, I just feel like crap. So, uh, it's a bummer, but we'll get done eventually. And at least I'm getting a break from work. So I'm going to sit here for a couple more minutes and be upset <laughs> and grumpy. <laughs> and then I'm going to get up and go outside and put some leaves on my garlic so it's it's safe mm -hmm. 